Hey Libra, how y'all doing? Welcome to your May love reading, okay? May, June, the next month or so. Um, so yeah, this is going to be your love reading. I've already um, cleansed the space and everything, so we're going to hop into it. Please remember that these are general messages and everything is not going to resonate for everybody. So I'm going to take what is for you and leave the rest for someone else, okay? Also, um, please remember that energies can be switched. Masculine and feminine energies can be switched as it applies to your situation. If you resonate with the message and also time is fluid. So this could be something that has already happened, something you're currently going through or something that will happen in the near future. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it, Libra. This is going to be your love reading, your next month love reading. Good for May, June. OK. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and hop into it and see what comes out for you guys. OK. Shuffling for Libra. Shuffling for Libra. Trying to shuffle for Libra. Shuffling for Libra. I got my cards upside down. Shuffle for Libra. I haven't used this deck in a few weeks, so. Let's see. Shuffle. Maybe that's why it's acting like you don't know me. Okay. Shuffling for Libra. Look at this. Yeah, I just seen that moon and wanted to come out. Something could be hidden from you. Um, or somebody could be um I feel like you don't trust someone or you need to use your intuition when dealing with someone. Could be um a Gemini or a Pisces here, but somebody may want to come in and talk to you and tell you guys something, okay? But it's like not the truth, something is still being hidden from you, okay. Um, this could happen around the full moon as well. We are um, in that full moon is the uh, on Monday, May the 16th. So y'all could be getting some sort of communication from someone. I don't know why people just want to call me when I'm doing in the middle of a damn meeting. They don't have to wait. Shuffling for my Libras. I'm trying to get the shuffle together, y'all. Okay. Can I still see the Emperor? Yep, Emperor on the bottom of the deck, y'all. Okay. Mm, let's see what's going to come out for you guys. Shuffling for... Libra, love and relationships, what do they need to know? Libra, love and relationships, what do they need to know? Mm. Six of Swords, four of movement. You could be moving away from someone. Okay. What else? Or moving towards someone, or someone's coming toward you. Queen of Wands. Okay. What else? That's for Libra, love and relationships. What do you need to know right now? Libra, love and relationships. Thank you, Spirit. Three of Wands. So I feel like you guys may be waiting on somebody to come towards you, or somebody's waiting, or there could be an um an Aries Leo Sag waiting to come towards you or wants to come towards you. Okay, maybe somebody feels regret about something here that they did. Yeah, somebody feel could feel regret. Oh, this is you. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so Libra, somebody could feel regret about how they treated you or something that they um, did to you, okay? This could have been a person that you were with, somebody from your past, okay? Could have been somebody that cheated on you or lied to you or sneaked around, somebody stole something from you or something like that, okay? Yeah, this is you, Libra. I feel like you're going to get justice um, for whatever this person did, okay? However they hurt you and betrayed you and backstabbed you, I feel like you guys are going to get justice for it, okay? Somebody, um, I'm getting some stall movement from somebody. Maybe somebody's having trouble moving on because they're, uh, they regret something that they did to you here. Could be a Leo, um, Aries, Sagittarius, a Pisces, okay? Or, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody hurt you and broke your heart. And, and there was somebody that you were in a relationship with. They broke your heart and they hurt you. But I feel like this person is trying to come back towards you, maybe. Uh, and I'm also, I'm feeling like you guys are, with this Queen of Wands, I feel like you guys are in your confident energy. Maybe you're looking really nice or something. Somebody could have maybe saw you on social media or something. And they want to come and, yeah, they want to come towards you. This could have been someone that puts you in a third-party situation here. Yeah, like when you were in a relationship with them. Y'all, we are in the retrograde. So, y'all know them exes going to start popping back up. So, just look out for that. Somebody wants to come forward and, and apologize to you for something that they did while you guys were together. Okay? And... Um, it could have been that they put you in a third-party situation. They were cheating on you, especially with that Seven of Swords and this Three of Cups here with the Four of Wands. Yeah, this is a relationship that they cheated on you in, okay? And they want to come forward and offer you guys. I feel like they're waiting on an opportunity to give you something, but you can have this person blocked. Oh, you can have this person blocked Nine of Wands or you just have your guard up with this person, okay? Yeah. Oh, why y'all in... Queen of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like you... I feel like y'all are done with this person. Yeah, I feel like y'all really do not want to deal with this person because this is your energy. Libra, Queen of Swords here is in the reverse slap in the middle of the deck here. Y'all could be being very harsh toward this person, okay? Very cold toward this person, like very like get the fuck back toward this person they want to come to you yeah you you don't want anything that they're trying to give to you with the six of pentacles because it's over the death card you're done with this person yeah um whoa queen of swords in the reverse y'all are like get the fuck away from me yeah because you the ace of pentacles you want to move on to something new here you do not want to deal with anybody from your past especially not whoever this person is okay all right, Libra. What's the Six of Swords here? What's the Six of Swords? Why is the Six of Swords here for Libra? Eleven relationships. Why is the Six of Swords here for Libra? Why is the Six of Swords here for Libra? Yeah, Knight of Wands. Yeah, you guys are... <laughs> this is you, Libra. This is y'all, your energy all day. Y'all ready to move forward. You don't have time for this person, whoever this is that wants to come towards you or say something to you or apologize to you about whatever. You like, you don't even want to hear it. You don't want to hear the explanation, no conversation, no none of that. You guys are moving on from this um, person. Yeah, Knight of Wands could be an Aries Leo Sag. Or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, air sign like yourself here. But you guys are moving forward from this person, okay? You don't, you just don't want to hear it. You just don't want to hear it. <clears throat> yeah, you're over it. Everything is fine. You're like, this person is like, I'm sorry for what I did to you, for hurting you, betraying you, backstabbing you. You're just like, all right, whatever. Everything is fine. You're just like, I don't want to even deal with it. What's the Knight of Wands? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. This is you single in your single energy on like you don't have time for this you focused on yourself you're focused on your coins on your money okay you are in this queen of wands energy very um self-confident very courageous very strong very y'all look like i said y'all looking good y'all probably getting back to yourself y'all in y'all single energy y'all looking good you minding your business and then you this person wants to come back and whatever it could be a gemini you guys are dealing with the lovers here on the bottom of the deck yeah this gemini a person that broke look at that y'all y'all yes this gemini here possibly or whoever this is for you this person made a decision when they were with you and caused you some heartbreak they broke your heart here okay this is you justice they broke your heart when y'all were in a relationship two of cups this is this is a relationship where somebody really broke your heart and you done with them. This person could have ran off. They could have been cheating on you. They could have been lying to you, sneaking around. They could have stole something from you. Like this person could be toxic. This person could be a little crazy. Okay. But now they regret what they did to you here in the past. And they want to see if they can work it out with you. And, and, and if they can bring some balance back into the situation here. But And that's the truth. That's what they want. But you guys have clarity on this situation. And when this person, when this person ran off, 
or whatever they did, whatever they did here. I feel like you guys got some sort of clarity into who this person really was here. Okay. And they, you felt hurt, betrayed and backstabbed by this person, but then you decided to move on. Okay. With the cherry, you guys move forward. You started throwing yourself into your work here. You could have gotten a new relationship or this person wants to come in and offer. Yeah. This, mm, oh, you guys could be getting in a new relationship with someone. Maybe a Virgo Taurus Capricorn here, and this person wanted to come in and apologize, but you're like, nah, I'm on to something new. I'm moving on to something better, better, better. No more trying to make it work. You make me want to say the back. Yeah, like, no, yeah. Mm -mm. Y'all don't want nothing to do with this person. <laughs> I get the most phone calls when I be on the phone. Yeah, the star could have been an Aquarius, or you guys are healing from this situation here. Okay, um, yeah, because you're a star, like you you moving on from this situation. You you have elevated from this. You are over this. You have ascended over this situation. Like it's like somewhere in the stars for you guys. It's it's up there and it's stuck there. Like you're done. It's up and it's stuck. Like yeah, no. Yeah, heal from this person. This person could have been toxic, crazy, put you in a um, third-party situation here. They could have been verbally, mentally abusive, or they could have just said some harsh things to you or something like that. And you got, it's like, I'm, I'm getting like somebody said something and it just stuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, once you hear something, you can't unhear it. Once you say something, it can't be unsaid, okay? It can be forgiven, but it can't be forgotten. And I feel like that's how you feel about this person. Something that they said to you just really, really stuck with you because it was like, dang, you really said that to me? Like, I thought we was better than that. I thought, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, it took you aback because it's you never thought that this person would say something, you know, to you like that or, or talk to you like that or something like that, okay? All right, but I feel like you guys are just enjoying being single. You're like, I don't want no parts of this person. Like, no. What's the Nine of Pentacles here? What's the Nine of Pentacles for Libra? Other relationships? What's the Nine of Pentacles? Why the Nine of Pentacles here? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, you like get back. So you left this person out in the cold, or you, this person could have left you out in the cold. Or I feel like you, you threw this person out. It's kind of like... <laughs> I'm getting the image of like, um, y'all know, like a fireplace when, 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 or like a, a, a grill or a fireplace and you have the poker and you're trying to, you know, keep it hot and you poking around it in the ashes to, you know, light the fire back up or something like that. It's like, that's what this person is trying to do. Or it's almost like, but, and it's almost like you're just. I don't know, trying to stomp the fire out or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, this person. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this, that's, okay. That's why I got that image. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, it's like a fireplace when you're, when you're poking around and you're trying to get the fire back going in the, in the fireplace, right? So you use the poker to like stir the ashes and all that stuff to get the fire back going here. That's what this person is trying to do. They're trying to spark you know, get a spark back in you guys' relationship. They're trying to warm you up or butter you up or cozy up to you or whatever here, but you like, nah, bro, you're going to have to be cold. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm laughing because of the image. Like, it's, it, I, I see it clear as day. It's so funny. But you're like, nah, you just leaving them out in the cold here. You're like, mm -mm. put that fire on out. Go on back out. Bundle up. Get on back out in the cold. Go on, go on, on your way here. Cause I don't got time. Yeah, look at that eight of cups. You're walking away from this person, or you're sending them away. Okay. Yeah, this person could be watching you. This person um could be could be stalking you. Okay, you did have that seven of swords. This person could be stalking you. Seven of swords popped out twice. They could if they know where you live, they could be going, driving past your house. Okay, watching your house. Um, particularly at night. Um. They could be watching. Yeah, I said, oh, yeah, I did say something earlier about uh, maybe you're looking good and feeling good. So you like posting pictures or something. If you're posting pictures on social media, they're, you know, on your page trying to see what you posting, what you looking like, all this type of stuff. But you guys are about to have a new beginning. You want something new here. OK, you don't want to deal with this person. You want to walk away from them. You want something new. This could be you could be 
Um, this person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay? You are, you have something new coming in, a new, um, you could have, some of you could be starting a new job, you could have new job offers coming in, but, and, or you could be meeting a new person here, maybe a Scorpio, but something, but something definitely came to an end. You guys have new beginnings here because you ended something and you've gone through some sort of change and transformation to where you just don't want to deal with this person anymore, Okay. Yeah, you're waiting on a real offer here. I feel like Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, you guys are waiting on a real legit offer from somebody who is really ready to um, reciprocate the things that you are giving. You know, um, someone who's going to give you equal give and take here. You guys, that's what you guys are waiting for, okay? And you're like, I'd rather wait on an honest, real-ass person to be with me then go back to this toxic ass situation here. Yeah, it could have definitely been a King of Cups here. I mean, a um, Pisces for some of you or a Capricorn that you guys are dealing with. This person could have been toxic. This person was toxic. This person is probably a little bit obsessed with you as well. Okay. Um, yeah, this is you, the Empress. This is you. Yeah, this this is this person did this to you. They snuck off. <laughs> they were sneaking around on you, but now they regret ever breaking your heart here and they want to know if they can reconcile with you. But you're like, no, closing the chapter on that. You're in hermit mode. You're in nine of pentacles mode. You're in single mode. You're focused on yourself. You're like, no, absolutely not. I don't want that. They want to be with you so bad. They want to come to you and offer you and like marriage i'm talking about this person wants to be like yo i'm ready to be with you i'm sorry i really hate that i did this to you blah 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 and they are talking they're talking some serious shit they're talking marriage they're talking family they're talking some real shit but it's like i'm getting too little too late for some of you i'm getting too little too late from this person and and the things that they did to you unforgivable like I'm hearing unforgivable. Too many chances. Like I've given you too many chances already or something like that. Okay. What's the Queen of Wands here for Libra? Why is the Queen of Wands here for Libra? I thought that wanted to come out. Why is the Queen of Wands here for Libra? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, the lovers. This could that you guys could be done with the Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. Um yeah, but this person was toxic. Devil card on the bottom. This person was toxic. Yeah, they're obsessed with you. The devil and with the empress card here. Yeah, this person is obsessed with you. Like they... <laughs> what? Okay, like they want to like... I don't know why. I don't even know what this means. Lick the sweat off your brow. Like what? Like, this person is really crazy obsessed with you, okay? Like, they think you're a hot, they think you like the best thing since sliced bread, okay? They're crazy attracted to you, very obsessed with you, but it's like, they just can't get their, they couldn't get their shit together. They couldn't get their shit together. I feel like they were kind of like a, a player or something like that, okay? But, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Why is the lover's car here? Why is the lover's car here? Clarify the lover's, please. Okay. Yeah, this person wants to tell you that something has changed here. You have the world card here, okay? Um, a chapter closing, a cycle closing. I feel like you guys are closing the chapter on this, okay? On this person here are you guys or this is you guys beginning a whole entire new chapter you could have new love coming in new relationship coming in here okay yeah this person could be trying to um i don't know i feel like you guys felt trapped in something Maybe it's like trapped in your head, stuck in your head about this person. I feel like whatever they did was like so, un like I keep hearing unforgivable, like so unforgettable, unforgivable, like they hurt you that bad that you've been trapped and stuck in your head and you've been trying to figure out how to get over this um, betrayal here, okay? 
And I feel like this person is definitely coming back here, the Six of Cups and the Moon card, but you still don't trust them and they're still hiding something. They're still hiding something and they're going to put you right back in the same energy that you were in. So you guys are just going to repeat this cycle with this person if you allow them to come back to you. Okay, yeah. Third party, they're going to put you in another third party situation here. This person could um, have a whole other family here. I'm getting, they could have um, kids with somebody else. They could have... Mo they could have, oh gosh, I'm hearing multiple wives or multiple girlfriends or something like that and a whole bunch of kids, okay? It's like, I keep hearing polygamy, polygamist, polygamy or something like that. So maybe this person just, <laughs> maybe this person just has a lot of, of kids, a lot of females or a lot of um, partners or something like that here okay and I feel like they're gonna put you back into the same old cycle if you allow them to come back here king of wands yeah you guys could definitely be dealing with the leo or a fire sign yeah that was a tower moment um this yeah something fell apart here oh wow that was a marriage here that fell apart so maybe this person was married. Yeah, that's why I saw that Ten of Cups. So maybe this person is married or was married or something like that. But it's like now that's falling apart. So it's like they want to come back to you and offer you and apologize to you or offer you something here. But I feel like you guys are like, no, like she's closing the computer. Like you're closing the chapter on that. That's this cycle that's ending. You want something new here. You don't want to deal with this. You guys are making a decision here to just stay single. Okay. Nine of Cups because you don't trust this person. Yeah, you got the you could have this person blocked here again, or they could have. I don't think they have you blocked. I feel like you got this person blocked. And they're trying to find a way to get to you. Yeah, this, this person is obsessed with you. Oh my gosh, the Devil and the Empress here again together with the temperance and the page of swords they trying to figure out what you got going on what you doing how you moving if you blow your nose they want to know what color it was like <laughs> i know that's like tmi but that's what i that's look like they really want to are trying to figure out what you have going on they want to know if you're with somebody. They want to come to you and they want to make you an offer. But this offer isn't shit. Page of Cups. Like, this this is a very small offer. They barely have anything to offer here. And you guys are going to be right back in that Nine of Swords energy. Fooling with this person. Oh, goodness. What's coming in? I see some something coming in for you guys, okay? I'm hoping this is some good news or a new person or something here. What is coming in for you guys? Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here for Libra? Why is the Three of Wands here for Libra, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, this is you guys. You guys are waiting on something to come in here, okay? Three of Wands, and this is you. Now you in the upright, okay? You, you're waiting on something to come in. What's the Queen of Swords here? Maybe you're waiting on some sort of communication to come in or some sort of news or something like that. Or some somebody's coming to you with some sort of communication or news. What's the Queen of Swords? Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow, what? Okay, this Three of Swords flipped over. I'm not taking all this. I'm not even about to try to break that down. What's the, um, why's the Three of Swords here? You guys, I'm getting some of you could have been waiting on an apology from this person. The Tempest in reverse. <sighs> yeah, I feel like you, this person wants to come in and you're like, no, you broke my heart. This isn't going to work. There's no, this, there's no working this out. There's no, no trying to bring this into balance. Like, it's not going to work. Like, this just isn't going to work here. Okay. Yeah. And I feel like you guys are going to be happy that you turn this person down here with the sun and the, and the six of wands. Okay. You're going to be happy that you had the, the, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not the nerve. Um, oh my gosh. The confidence, whatever. You're going to be happy that you turned this person down here because you're ready to move on here. Okay. With the, um, yeah, you're putting the end to this and you're ready to move forward here. Yeah. Look, the, with the death card the sun is here in the way in the background okay you guys are putting the end to this so that you can have your true happiness or find your true happiness or whatever okay 
Like, I feel like you guys are going to turn this person down and you're, and this could have been, if this is an ongoing cycle for you and this person, you always allow this person to come back and, um, come back into your energy and give them another chance or whatever. If you have in the past, I feel like now you're not. And as soon as you let them down or as soon as you send them on their way and you're going to be like, yes, like I feel so good that I did that. I'm so happy that I turned them down. I'm so happy. I feel so good about myself. Okay. Yeah. Because you guys got options. We got options. Yeah, you have options. You're like moving on, or or either you know that this person is full of shit, and they're just um trying to throw the wool over your eyes, giving you illusions, making you a whole lot of empty promises here. Okay, making just saying a whole lot of shit that they can't hold up to here. Okay, um, you guys could be reconciling with the person from the past again. I mean, this is the retrograde, so maybe. I feel like you guys could have a couple or either this is just different stories because everything is different for everybody. So only take what's for you. Or this could be a whole entire story or either you guys could have multiple people trying to reconcile with you from the past. Okay. Could be um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius here. People are coming out the woodwork I'm here and trying to reconcile with you guys. Yeah, trying to make you offers. People want to know what you have going on. They want... <laughs> what the fuck? Ooh, the retrograde. Y'all be careful doing this retrograde. Do not make any... If you're single, don't make any decisions during this retrograde about who you want to be with. Because all these people are coming out the woodwork. All these people are going to be promising you this and promising you... Telling me this and telling me that. <laughs> Practice what you preach. Yeah, people are gonna come just telling you a whole bunch of shit. Yeah, you're gonna you can have a whole lot of decisions to make. You be, you could be getting a lot of text messages or DMs from somebody here, and you guys could be um, trying to make a decision here. Maybe it's a burden on you that you're getting so much um, communication coming in from all these different people, from all these past people. I feel like it's gonna be a burden on you guys, and you're just gonna be like, "What the hell?" Yeah, you don't trust none of this. The moon card. You don't trust any of these people. Use your intuition here, okay? Use your intuition. Use this retrograde time period not to make any serious decisions about relationships, but, uh, I mean, like, new relationships or especially people from the past because I feel like they full of shit. Um, let's see if we can find out who this person is and what they want. Shopping for Libra, love and relationships for the next month. June, June for Libra, the next four weeks. June 2022. You guys can have an op um, to just fi be finding the strength to like protect yourself from people. You guys could meditate a lot, or maybe you should. Okay. More Leo, lots of Leo energy. You guys could be dealing with the Leo or have a Leo coming in for you or something about a Leo. Or you could have Leo in your chart. Okay. Who is this past person trying to come toward Leo? I mean, Leo. Ooh, the Empress in the reverse and the Two of Cups in the reverse. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. So, huh. I feel like you guys are taking. not taking your power back i feel like you feel that this person took your power libra whatever this person did to you 
um, the whatever the cheating or whatever they I'm hearing trigger they could have triggered something in you as what in you as well um, something that you have been through with other people but I feel like this person drained you of your love of your emotions of your kindness of you know what I'm saying like you this is you're powerful you are, but I feel like this person made you feel powerless, like they drained you, they took your power from you, they made you feel weak or unworthy or whatever, you know what I'm saying, like what they, whatever they did to you, however they hurt you, it, it, it weakened you, it weakened you, it drained you, it really hurt you, it really, you, they really let you down, they, this person could have made you feel like an option this person could have made you feel like you were like you just weren't good enough thank you thank you spirit that's what i'm trying to say this person could have made you feel like you weren't enough or you weren't good enough or you know what i'm saying and drained you of all your power all your self-confidence that's why i feel like this queen of wands is here because the queen of wands is very sexy very elegant very self-confident okay very strong very sure of herself okay very sensual very sexual and this is you you're getting back to that because this person when they did what they did to you they took that from you Okay, it could have been another air sign, Libra, Gemini, um, a Libra, or a Taurus. Could have been a fellow Libra or a Taurus. Could have been a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. This person took your power. They made you feel powerless. They made you feel like you weren't enough. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. What else, Spirit? What else about this person? Yeah, look, Queen of Swords. They made you cold. They turned you cold. They turned you mean. They turned you harsh. They put you in a, a, a space that I'm hearing uncomfortable. They put you in an uncomfortable space. So maybe you guys were like, I feel like it took you a long time to get to where you were before you met this person, like to get your confidence back up and to feel good about yourself. And then this person comes in and does this, these things to you. Okay. And they just put you right back in the same self-conscious energy that you work so hard to get out of. Okay. Could have been, um, yeah, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Yeah, you could have thought that you were going to have a new beginning here with this person. They could have told you that you were going to have a new beginning with them. But, yeah, that didn't happen. They left you in this Nine of Swords as sad as energy. Yeah, seven, seven of Swords because they were sneaky, sneaking off at night. And when they, when they left, you guys went into hermit mode. Hmm. How is this person coming toward Libra? How is this person coming toward Libra? The moon still full of shit. <laughs> still full of shit. They're still hiding shit. Still hiding shit. Still full of shit. Five of Pentacles in the reverse here. Okay. I'm hearing let me in. I don't know. I'm hearing let me in. So... This person doesn't want you to lock them out or keep them um, out in the cold anymore. They don't. Yeah, you had them out in the cold here with the five of pentacles here. You sent them on their way. You did not let them rekindle that fire, that flame here. Yeah, look that. Damn, that ace of um, oh, what was it? Just on the bottom, ace of wands. Ace of something was just on the bottom. But it, yeah, Ace of Wands, I think it had that a flame on it. If it comes back up, I'll show you guys. It had a flame on it, but it was in reverse. Yeah, so like I said, you guys are putting the fire out. They're trying to reignite the fire, and you're putting it out. You're like, no, okay? This came out in the reverse. They want you to unblock them. They want you to let them back in. I'm hearing let me in. They want you to let them in. This could literally be somebody coming to your house, too, knocking on your door, asking you to let them in. This, this person could come pop up at your house. I'm hearing that I want to pop up. I'm going to pop up on you. So, yeah, but they're still full of shit. 
chaos and conflict still follows them. They're still hiding shit. They're still not going to tell you the truth. They're still holding shit back. They're still untrustworthy here. Yeah, Ten of Cups. This person could still be in a whole relationship or have a whole family here with the Ten of Cups. But they're so worried about you, Page of Wands. They're watching you. Yeah, this person could have wanted you to be... Yeah, they wanted you to be self-confident or, I mean, self-conscious or whatever. Queen, This Queen of Wands here is in reverse, okay? They're watching you. They don't want you to move on without them. They don't want you to be happy without them or they can't believe that you're happy without them. This person could have told you that you were their soulmate or they could be, um, this is a false masculine here, a karmic person here with the emperor in reverse. This person could have told you that they were your soulmate. Um, this person could be an Aries um, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, yeah, two of two of swords. This person is trying to confuse you. It's just two of swords. How she's all tied up, and the birds are there, and she can't see shit. And she's trying to fight them away or whatever. This person is trying to confuse you. I feel like, yeah, they don't want you. <laughs> they don't want you to figure them out. But it's like you already have figured them out. And that's why you walked away from them. Or you're sending them away here with the Eight of Cups here. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. You're like, I'd just rather be by myself. Yeah. You're sending them away. What's the Five of Pentacles here? How's this person coming toward Libra? What's the Five of Pentacles? Y'all, this person could pop up at your house. I'm seeing a green car. I don't know why. Or a black car, a blue car, green, black, or blue car. Um, if this person has a key to your house, maybe you should change your locks. If this person, like, I don't know how deep it was with this person, but if this person has a key to your house, if you haven't already, uh, you're going to change your locks. You know, anything else? Yeah, I don't think spirit got nothing to say about that shit. All right. What is the possible outcome here between Libra and this person? <sighs> I really don't want to do no reading on no old person, but it's the retrograde. I knew this was going to come out. What's the possible outcome here between Libra and this person? Or, you know what? What does this person want to say to Libra? What does this person want to say to Libra? Three of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> I'm here and I'm ready. They want to tell you that they're ready. Okay, they they I feel like they want to apologize for breaking your heart here. And the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. Um, and Six of Pentacles, they want to tell you that they're ready to give you what you deserve. They're ready. They're ready. Now they did they dirt and they did whatever they did to you, but now because they're ready, they want you. They they want to tell you that they've been heartbroken, that they have been sad as well that they've been heartbroken that you know whatever and they're like i'm ready to give myself to you i'm ready to fully commit here I'm, i told you this person wants to come in and offer you like marriage they're gonna come in with a serious offer i mean i'm not saying it's a legit offer but they're talking like it's a serious offer, serious, legit offer. They want to offer you new love. They want to tell you that they've changed. They want to tell you that they want to be with you. They want to marry you. They want to, they're ready to give to the, to their relationship. They're ready to be reciprocal, but it's like, like, I can't breathe without you. I'm hearing like, I, I couldn't sleep without you. I couldn't breathe without you. I couldn't make it like, oh my gosh. <sighs> Chow. My heart, honey, my heart, my heart. <laughs> yeah, Eight of Pentacles, I feel like y'all ain't having it. Eight of Pentacles and Eight of Cups, you guys are walking away from this situation, from this person. I feel like you already know what this person is about, and you're just like, nah, you haven't changed. You haven't healed. Nothing has changed here. I'm just going to continue to wait because um, I need to find my real person, Ace of Cups. Yeah, you're like, I need to find my real person, like my real divine counterpart my real divine masculine here because you're not it okay yeah <sighs> yeah nothing's really changed here for this person i feel like they're they're stuck there's something is stalled within them they're stuck they're stagnant i'm all, um i'm getting like they can't they can't move forward 
I don't know if they can't move forward without you or something there. They can't move forward. They can't get get over this. They can't get this out of their head. Whatever happened between you guys, they can't get over it because they know they were wrong. Ten of Swords. They know that they stabbed you in the back. They know that they betrayed you. They know that they hurt you. They know that you were it for them. Like they know that you are you a divine counterpart a soulmate like a real they know that you're the, the truth the real shit they know libra they know you the truth i mean you're the queen of swords and justice for good sakes like they know you the truth They're like this is like the realest fucking person that i have ever laid eyes on and ever been with the most sexiest person the most romantic person the most like sex bomb or whatever they know now they know they probably knew it then, but they just didn't really care. Now they know, and now they want to work shit out with you. But you're like, nah, bro. They want you to unblock them. They want you to call them. They want to talk to you. Like, what else? Yeah, five of cups here. They, they, um, they regret. I, you know what? I don't know why I just heard they don't regret it. This person is trying to manipulate you. This magician on the bottom, how he's like manipulating the energy around him. This person is trying to get around you to manipulate your energy. They're trying to drain you, okay? Like this, they're trying to drain you of your energy. I mean, I got enemies, got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to drain me of this energy, trying to take away from it. <laughs> They are trying to drain you. They're trying to pull the wool over your eyes. This person is trying to manipulate you. Yeah, they're top of the deck. Knight of Swords. They're coming towards you fast, right? Knight of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that you guys could be dealing with here. But guess what? Seven of Swords. They're coming towards you with some bullshit. This person. Y'all also watch your surroundings because somebody could be sneaking around your house at night. This could be this person. They could be sneaking around your house at night. I'm getting, um, if you have a vehicle, uh, pay attention to your vehicle. Maybe somebody could try to like flatten your tires or something like this. I don't know if this is necessarily this person or somebody that they're dealing with, but this somebody in your energy or around you is manipulative. Somebody around you is crazy. Somebody is sneaking around your house at night. I told y'all red, red, what I say? Red, blue, no. Well, now I'm getting red car. So red car, blue car, green car, or black car. Okay. Um, somebody could also be on foot. Yeah, y'all see how the city um, is in the background here and this person is sneaking out. Somebody could like park their car somewhere away from your house and then walk to your, actually walk to your house so they don't, you know, cars have lights and sounds and shit like that. So somebody could park somewhere else and then be walking to your house and I feel like somebody, maybe you're going to catch this person or somebody's going to catch this person and they're going to have to run away, run, run away really fast back to their, their vehicle here. So y'all look out for that. Okay. That might have been very specific for someone. So look out for that. What else there? What else does Libra need to know here? All right, y'all. We're going to move on here. The chariot. Yeah, somebody could be coming towards you. This is, um, yeah, this ace of swords is in reverse. Oh, Lord, y'all. Yeah, if you're thinking about reconciling with the person from your past, and I, like I said, they're going to make everything sound all good, but it's some bullshit I'm trying to tell y'all. So if y'all are thinking about it, especially during this retrograde, please don't make any serious relationship decision new about being with somebody. If you're already in a relationship, I mean, even if you're already in a relationship, don't, don't make any drastic decisions during this retrograde because it's when it's over i feel like everything gonna fall right back apart here yeah nine of swords on the top everything gonna fall right back apart here so please do not make any rash serious permanent decisions during this retrograde okay all right let's see what else i can get for you guys here we're gonna move these Shuffling for Libra. Shuffling for Libra. 
you guys are highly protected, I feel, or you're asking for protection, or you should ask for some protection here, okay? Some of you could be getting advice from a trusted advisor or a trusted friend or me. This saw 444 on the timer. Someone needs to pay attention to their health here. Use protection, I'm hearing, okay? Oh, God. Somebody's neighbor is nosy. Somebody's neighbor is watching something, okay? Mm, somebody's pregnant. Somebody needs to make themselves a priority, okay? Don't be... Uh, don't let this person manipulate you or come and come back into your energy. Make yourself a priority here. What's the messages for Libra? What do they need to know? Love and relationships may the next four weeks. May June 2022. What does Libra need to know? What are the messages here? Thank you, Spirit. He just somebody I used to know. There could be a female with tattoos. Okay, somebody maybe with a mole, somebody who likes to wear big earrings, hoop earrings. I'm also getting somebody who has like the one of those silk head wraps. Maybe they wear a lot, okay? Um, and somebody who smokes weed here, a female. But somebody's just saying he's just somebody I used to know, okay? What else? What else for Libra? Thank you. All right, we got two here. A spiritual connection here. Okay, there could be a strong spiritual connection here with someone here, and somebody's being defensive about something. What else? Okay, it says patience is a virtue reserve. Somebody is keep. I feel like this is you, Libra, keeping to yourself, minding your own business here. Okay, reading your books, smoking your bong, minding your business, chilling here. Okay, being patient, or spirit is telling you to be patient about something. Oh, uh, two more cards, please, Libra. Thank you. Ooh, two exactly. Okay. Unexpected engagement and toxic relationship. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Bottom of the deck. Pay attention to your health. This person could. It's coming back to you. Like I said, they could like be in a polygamous type lifestyle here or something like that. They could be dealing with a lot of people, multiple people. So pay attention to your health. Wrap that thing up. Not only, not just this person, but whoever else you guys dealing with. Wrap that thing up. All right. Men and females, wrap it up. Let's get some clarifications on this. Something is like this card came out like that. I'm gonna see what it is. The Hierophant. Okay, so somebody could be married here, or this you could be learning a lesson from somebody. I'm getting. Oh, you do have unexpected engagement right here. So yeah, somebody could be getting married. This could be you, Libra. I don't know. Maybe or I'm telling you, this person wants to come in and, and offer you some um and tell you that they want to be with you and they want to marry you and that they're they're serious here. So you guys really could be getting proposed to by this person, but I don't really feel like you're going to accept it because this is a toxic relationship. Don't accept the... <laughs> I mean, don't accept the first offer or whatever you receive. This is why it be, um, this patience is a virtue is here, okay? All right, spirit. <laughs> Dang. Ooh, I want to talk today. Can you clarify he just somebody I used to know? Why is that here? Okay, King of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. So you guys could be dealing with, again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, okay? But I feel like 
you are over this situation here. You are resting from this situation. You're recovering and healing from what this person did. And you're like, you know what? He just somebody I used to know. You know what I'm saying? At this point, like there could have been a point where you were like really upset and heartbroken over the situation. But now it's like you chilling, you sitting back with your book and your bomb here and you chilling. You just like, ain't nobody checking for that for that dude no more or if you're a male ain't nobody checking for that female no more like that's just somebody that i used to know some like people could be asking you about this person like did you do, 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 or what happened with you you know child it's just somebody i used to know that ain't we wasn't whatever <laughs> okay yeah like i said it could be a virgo taurus or a capricorn Yeah, you guys could also have someone coming in here, somebody who's been watching you, maybe wants to talk to you or something, not watching you like in the stalkerish way, but somebody who wants to talk to you could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn here. There could be a reliable person coming in here for you guys after you, um, after you have recovered and healed from this person, from this other situation here. Okay. Yeah, Ten of Cups, somebody, somebody could want to come in and make you an offer here. The Empress. Yeah, after a period of grieving. No, that's still the same person, I feel like. Lord, have mercy. This person wants to come in and offer you something. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, this is this person, y'all. Look, Ten of Cups. <sighs> And the Empress. This person wants to <laughs> five of cups. This person wants to come in. God, why? Can't, okay, I'm gonna see if I can get some information on a new person. Cause what the hell? Somebody definitely wants to come back with you. This person is obsessed with you. They want to reconcile with you. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay, maybe. The Ten of Cups, they want to build with you. They want to have a family with you. This is what they're going to tell you. They want to have a family with you, Empress. This is you. Okay, because they know how. They're very attracted to you. They know your, your nature. They know that you are like, like I said, they know that you it. They feel sorry. They're very sad and regretful for, um, they feel like they lost you. They lost out. Okay. They're, they're regretting how they treated you or what they did to you. They're regretting lying to you and hiding things from you and keeping you in the dark here. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah. Queen of Wands again. They're very attracted to you. They, they all this person wants to. They could also, they could just want to come in and have sex with you as well, okay? But you guys are putting an end to this. There was a tower moment here that ended this. This person had you all up in your head at night. They had you going crazy, staying up late at night, losing your mind, like losing sleep, like anxious and worried all the time here. But you guys worked hard to get over this situation. And now, yeah, and get back into your queen-like energy. And you're just like, no, I don't. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, can we get some more energy in this mug? Who is this person? They for real, y'all. Some of y'all I feel like might even take this person back. I don't know. I, I, I know y'all probably like, uh-uh. And I'm feeling like, uh-uh for y'all, but... <laughs> Why a spiritual connection here? Maybe this person feels like you guys have a strong spiritual connection. I feel like that could be one of the lines that they use. <laughs> like, we're connected. We're soulmates. What's the what's this spiritual connection here? Why is the spiritual connection here? Oh, Queen of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Okay, so you are this new person. I said somebody could, new could be coming in for you guys. Queen and King of Pentacles here, a light pair. So you guys could be coming into union with someone that you actually do have a strong physical, I mean, a spiritual connection with here, okay? You could indeed be meeting your real true counterpart or true soulmate here. Yeah, Will of Fortune, something is changing. You, this is your destiny. This person is your destiny here. Four of Pentacles, they're going to bring some stability into your life here, okay? Um, High Priestess, you guys could have been... I feel like you guys are very intuitive here. I see lots of the um, third eye here on this card, on this card as well. You guys can be very intuitive. You guys could also be manifesting a person here, okay? Good news coming in. You guys are finally going to get some closure from um, a situation here, okay? Yeah, and then you're going to start getting some equal give and take here. You're going to meet somebody who's going to be reciprocal, Um 
to you, to your feelings and your needs and everything, okay? All right. What, why is defensive here? Believer, clarify defensive, please. Clarify defensive, believer, please. Thank you, Spirit. Knight of Wands. Yeah, intuition here. Some of you guys are very, very intuitive here. You guys could even know that this person is coming back to you already. Like, I, I feel like some of you, like, know about the retrograde and you're just like, oh, man, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> um, But you may need to defend yourself against someone or someone's going to be very defensive here. I feel like this is, could be this past person here. But you guys, this is his third eye again. You guys already know what's going on here with this person. Give me one more. Why is the Knight of Wands here for defensive? Right by the Knight of Wands. Yeah, the devil. Yeah, okay. Because you guys already know this person is obsessed with you. You know this person is toxic. You know this person is crazy. You're going to, um, I feel like you guys may get into it here with the Wands. And they're, they may, this person is very fiery, okay? Um, they could have like a quick temper on here and a very hot temper. Hot temper. So yeah, this person, um, maybe you could say something to this person like, why are you, didn't, didn't this happen? And didn't like, you know what I'm saying? I'm um, bringing up the past and they're going to get defensive. Like, why are you bringing that up? Why are you, blah, blah, blah? but you guys know intuitively, you know that this person is obsessed with you. You know that this person is toxic. You know that this person doesn't mean you any harm. I mean, doesn't mean you any good. Okay. Yeah. This person wants you stuck or trapped here. Yeah. Why is patience is a virtue here? Why is patience is a virtue here for Libra? You guys are royalty, I'm hearing. You guys are the queens. You're the empress here. Look at that crown right there. Yeah. You guys know. I'm hearing crown chakra as well. Intuitiveness. You guys know what's going on here with this person. You will not be fooled by this person, okay? Yeah, Ten of Wands and the Lovers. This person um, could have been a heavy burden on you guys here, okay? It says burden demands an overload, okay? This person this could be too much. Could be a Gemini again, okay? Um, but this person could just be too much for you guys here. Um, that's why you need to have patience. Maybe you need to have patience with this person. When this person comes in, you need to just ground yourself take a couple deep breaths if you're gonna talk to this person i feel like some of you may not even talk to this person a lot of you may not even talk to this person at all here okay um but just be patient here because i it, it could be a lot um i feel like your love life and your relationship or you know what i'm saying or lack thereof however it is for you guys could seem like a lot okay i'm i'm getting like when is it going to be my turn? Why is this always happening to me? Like just constantly going back and forth, battling with yourself, okay? And putting a, a heavy burden on yourself here, not feeling like enough, not, you know, whatever, okay? But I feel like spirit is in your, in your, in your ancestors are telling you to be patient here. Just sit back, relax. We got this, okay? Just sit back and relax. Be patient. Don't try to force it, okay? Because Ace of Wands here, you have... A new beginning here, okay? You could be meeting someone new here. Ace of Wands. Someone that's going to make you happy, okay? Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Y'all, I cannot get away from this person. What the hell? More Gemini energy. Because there's that reconciliation, that four of cups. The fool taking a leap of faith here. I feel like some of you guys may actually, like I said, get back with this person. I don't feel like a whole lot of you, but some of you guys may actually take a leap of faith and, and reconcile with this person or reconcile with somebody else in your past. Because I feel like, like I said, picking up on a couple of energies here. Yeah, two of cups on the top of the deck here. 
with the five of cups yeah this is a hit whoa whoa oh my goodness y'all I'm not gonna lie I see some of y'all reconciling with this person But this person is stuck or trapped in another situation. They're in another relationship. Or either they were, maybe something came to an end here with their old relationship. I mean, this person really wants to tell you that they've changed and they want a, they want a new beginning here with you. But I feel like some yeah, a lot of you guys are blocking that off. But I feel like some of you are gonna reconcile with this person. I, but I, I, for most of you, I just feel like this situation was just too much for you. You know what I'm saying? Like this person broke you down. They broke your spirit. This could have been somebody that you really thought that you were going to be with forever, that you were talking about marriage with, that you, you guys talked about all the stuff and then they went and did what they did. And it was like just devastating to you. I feel like, oh, what's the unexpected engagement here? For Libra. My goodness, Libra. This person is obsessed with you. I'm hearing that song. I can't leave him alone. I can't leave him alone. Dun, 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 dun. I think it's the creator. Unexpected engagement is a no. Whoa. The creator says no. Yeah, this person wants to come in and reconcile with you. And look, she even looks shocked. Like, what? You really asked me to marry you? No. No. Are you crazy? No! <laughs> damn, Libra. I said that I was going to be harsh and cold to this person, but damn. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking about some of y'all going to reconcile with this person's spirit. I'm like, no. No. Your ancestors are like, no. You're like, no. Like, are you really proposing to me right now, dude? No. Are you crazy? This is a toxic ass relationship. You're toxic as fuck. Somebody could drink a lot. Somebody this um could wear a lot of gold jewelry, a lot of chains, could have a, um their ears pierced. Somebody could like to drink Hennessy and wear a lot of like hoodies, t um yeah hoodies, sweatshirts. And I'm I'm getting maybe a scar. Maybe somebody has like a scar on their neck or something like that. Um, this man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They trying to trap you. Yeah, they trap. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all. Yes. This person is trying to present themselves as a king of wands, as somebody who's really, really ready and committed and ready to be with you and ready to be a family person and a family man. But they're really trying to keep you trapped. Eight of swords in a marriage. Hierophant. They're trying to marry you to keep you trapped. More freaking Gemini energy. This is also you, but I mean, King of Swords is Gemini, but this is good to be you too. They're trying to trap you, but they're, yeah, they're trying to keep you trapped in the marriage. All the while, they're probably still going to be messing around with this third party person. Polygamy. This person wants to have their cake and fucking eat it too. Jeez, Louise. Yeah, Three of Swords. The Spirit's like, no, I'm not marrying you. You're not going to marry this person because they broke your heart. Or they're just going to break your heart again. Three of Swords on the top of the deck. Yeah, the Four of Wands. This person is going to break your heart if you get into a relationship with them. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. What's the toxic relationship here? Why is toxic relationship here? This person is off. They fucking meds. What's toxic relationship? Why is that here? Look, look at this. Look at this shit. <laughs> Just flying everywhere. The world. Yeah. Bring, bring this shit to a close here. Completion. No. This shit needs to come to an end here. Yeah. Nine of cups. This person does not want you to be single. They don't want you to move on. Six of swords. And nine of cups. They don't want you to be single. They don't want you to be by yourself. They, they don't want you to move on. Six of swords. They do not want you to move on. They don't want you to be single because they don't want nobody else to have an opportunity to be with you. So they want to try to trap you in a marriage, tell you that they want to be with you, and then they're going to proceed to do whatever the fuck that they still want to do because they're toxic. 
Jeez Louise, end this shit. Complete this cycle right now with the world card. End this shit. Dip it in the fucking bud. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. The Empress. Yeah, if you guys say yes to this person, okay, and marry this person, then this is going to be you. Yeah. Five of Cups energy. Wishing, feeling sadness and regret that you chose to be with this person like a damn fool. Sorry, but yeah, because they still look. Seven of Swords still popping up. This person full of shit, y'all. Oh my goodness. This person crazy. Anything else? Anything else? Look, I went way over the time that I was going to go. Ooh, we. All right. Yeah, the Empress. Look, we're going to end it with you on the bottom here. With this King of Cups. Making a decision here to take a leap of faith to start over with something new here. Yeah, don't. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This person trying to get you. I'm also hearing use protection if you can get pregnant and just say this person catches you on a night, on a drunken night here, okay, or something like that. And for whatever reason, y'all have some little one night stand or something like that. If you can get pregnant, wrap it up, use protection, be careful. But please don't even. Try. Look, February, somebody saying this should have been you. What are the messages from this person? What do they want to say to Libra right now? Oh, geez, Louise. I might have to do a new love reading on you guys because I got nothing for a new love, for a new person coming towards you guys. But I mean, again, we are in the retrograde, so that makes sense. But I'm going to do a new a reading on you guys for new love. It might be. Look, somebody's saying, I just need to see you one time. It should have been you. What does this person want to say to Libra? Why would my car shovel right? What the hell? Hold on, y'all. What does this person want to say to Libra? Shuffling for Libra. Other relationships. The next four weeks. What do they need to know? I know what this person wants to say to Libra. Shuffling for Libra. What does this person want to say to Libra? Final messages between Libra and this person. Mm. This person could have been dealing with a karmic female. Maybe this, maybe a dark skinned karmic female. Shut up for Libra. What does this person want to say to Libra? I feel like a lot of y'all have this person blocked. <laughs> so what does this person want to say to Libra? What are the messages here? What does this person want to say to Libra? This person could be manifesting you or you guys are manifesting somebody new into your life here. Something about July could be significant, okay? Um, I did see lots of cancer energy, so this person's birthday could be in July. Maybe the 3rd, the 6th, or the 9th here, okay? Um, maybe the 5th, the 8th, the 7th, the 13th. I meant the 11th. Maybe somebody's birthday. All right. Um, somebody's affected by somebody else's problems. They're saying I really do or did love you. Okay. Um, 
overthrowing of leadership. Somebody feel like they lost their power over you or something like that, okay? They were probably being too forceful or too aggressive, okay? Um, there's an imbalance or something, or somebody has some sort of addiction, or someone feels deprived here, or, or either somebody's overindulging and drinking, or they feel like deprived of like your company or something I'm hearing. All right, answer the phone. I'm trying to call you, okay? They want to say you smell so good. They're saying it's over between them and someone else. They're, they, I promise. Can we please just talk? Yeah, I told you this person really wants to talk to you. Okay, look, you like, uh-uh, I don't want no scrubs. Maybe this person <laughs> didn't have anything or they were a scrub when you met them or they didn't have much or something like that. But you like, nah, I don't want no scrub. I'm good. Um, sex with me by Rihanna. Maybe you guys had really good sex here. This person, this person is thinking about. It. I told you this person wanted to come in and have sex with you too. All right, they're saying I was wrong. Please forgive me. Um, I'm ready to move on. Can we get a room? I told you. This person was found out that they were dealing with a karmic female. This female could have been dark skin here. Now they're saying I, they think you're the one. They miss your cooking, so maybe you used to cook for this person. All right. They're saying I never should have left you. I want you, but I'm still with her or him. I told you this person was still dealing with this other person. They want to come in and say they want to marry you and be with you and have a family with you, but they still dealing with this other person. The fuck? All right. They're saying I regret it. I'm ashamed. I'm sorry. And then calling and hanging up, block calls, playing on the phone. That could be this person calling you from different numbers, calling and hanging up, not having the nerve to say anything. They could be text uh, just... I'm here. I'm getting like I'm seeing those bubbles like when somebody's typing. So they, but they're not sending the message. They could be typing stuff to you, and but not sending the message here. Bliss abroad. Somebody wants to take you somewhere. They're saying it never should have happened, and they're saying I'm trying to get away. Look, I should have cheated. I'm so horny, and it should have been you. I told you this person wants to just screw you. Okay. All right, Libra, those are the messages that I have for you guys. I hope something resonated with you. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.